Let's look at tiny living things that form the base of the ocean food web. You would need a microscope to see live examples of these, but the Monterey Bay Aquarium in California makes it easy. The general name for these is plankton. They live by the millions in the ocean. This interactive display at the aquarium allows visitors to see these microscopic creatures on a large display screen. These look more like machines or monsters than plants and animals, but many of them resemble the first living things to emerge on Earth. Visitors can spin the display to see all sides of the objects. Can you guess what this object is? As an example of zooplankton, we know it's an animal, but at which stage of its life? How about this one? You won't see one of these without a microscope, yet you likely swam with them if you swam in the ocean. It's the larva of a type of worm. By itself, this creature doesn't provide much nutrition, but remember that these plankton exist in huge numbers out in the ocean. Take a look at this one and see if you can tell what it is. Does its shape remind you of something you've seen in nature? Keep your eyes on the top of the screen. You'll soon see the identity of this zooplankton. It's the larva of a snail. As we've seen, the larva stage of some animals have little resemblance to that animal in its adult stage. How about this one? I remember seeing one of these through a microscope in a biology class. It came from a local pond. Copepods are consumers. They eat phytoplankton. Many small animals eat copepods, making them secondary consumers. If copepods were removed from the ocean, it would have a devastating effect on numerous sea animals. It would have a major impact on the food web, affecting many animals further up the food chain. That's why it's important to protect all life. Learning about how animals get their energy to live is an important step in keeping the ecosystem in balance. This tiny crab larva will get much bigger if it survives. Here's another mystery. This is also a larva, but of what animal? As an adult, this barnacle will attach itself to another object, forming a shell and catching plankton to eat with its foot. We know that life on Earth first emerged in the ocean from life forms similar to some of these microscopic creatures. Starting with single cell organisms, life slowly became more complex eventually resulting in the animals we see today. Single cells cooperated with other single cells to form some of the strange looking plankton we've seen today. Even as more complex life forms, plankton are essential to powering the great diversity of life we see in the oceans. Seen from all sides, we can learn to appreciate these fascinating organisms.